Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Forky Upscaler. You know, I figured since I already have my M55C2, why not uh, try out and see how well game like Ratchet Clank from PlayStation 4 Pro looks on this Vizio M55C2. You know what? This television right now, you can get it for... I think you can get it for like... 500 or 600 dollars I think you can get it for like 600 dollars or maybe 500 dollars and honestly if you can get this for 500 or less I definitely say pick it up this TV the one unique thing that this 4k TV has is full array of LED backlit and also full array of local dimming okay and that truly helps this 4k television in such a small form that it's a 55 inch which means better uniformity when you have full array local dimming and full array led backlit and 55 inch you're gonna get a nice excellent uniformity with colors and contrast ratio and on top of that there won't be any bending light uh that's the one shame that Samsung KS8000 has is that bleeding edge lit light. You know, that's the one one issue that Samsung will have to deal with and resolve that issue. Uh, if you're going to stick with LED, I would tell Samsung, listen, if you're going to stick with LED, make sure it's two things. Make sure it's a full array LED backlit and full array of local dimming. And then, man, with that 2000 peak brightness nits and a quantum dot coloring you're gonna have yourself some really kick-ass 4k tv but this one unique thing about this uh 4k tv is the uh the input lag it's not that bad because it has the game mode uh processor that's built into this tv it has a game mode processor built into it and also response time is good as well because of that game mode processor. Yes, it does it does have a game mode processor built into it. It's right here. Let me show you. Let me show you really quick what I mean. It's right over here. And another unique feature about this TV, it has these uh uh key it has a keyboard that you can type in, which is much better than just using a controller. It lits up, you press it and it lits up. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and let me show you what I'm talking about really quick. Let me just go to a... Uh, go to picture. And let me show you. You see this thing called the game low latency. When you turn that on, that's where you get that. Here, let me show you. I'll turn it on. When you turn the game low latency on, then you'll never have to worry about any sorts of issues. Barely anything. And that's the one unique thing that this TV has that many other TVs don't have. So a lot of people take a shit on Vizio, but I think it's immature to be taking a crap on Vizio. Vizio has proven itself to be a very reliable 4K TV and very affordable 4K TV. They're the ones that started with the whole Dolby Vision and then LG kind of jumped in after them afterwards. But they were doing Dolby Vision. I think they were the first TVs to do Dolby Vision. So Vizio, it's not bad, man. I, I, know, I know everybody talks about Sony, LG, and Samsung, but let me tell you something. Vizio has proven itself to be a good TV. I had this TV since 2015, 2015, 2016, Jesus Christ, almost three years. I had this TV and it's still good. All right, let's do some gameplay. Oh yeah, let me show you uh, what type of calibrations I'm using over here. Hold on. I'm gonna turn this off for now because I wanna show you something else as well here. These are my calibrations right now. Uh, I'm using a 83 on the backlit because I don't want the uh, 
full array of LEDs because this, this thing blasts. I mean, it has a full array of LEDs. So when you turn this on maximum, it blasts and warms the room, man, because it's, it's a lot of LEDs coming out, a lot of LED zones just popping out. Uh, brightness, I keep it at 50 uh, because I just felt I already have my gamma at 2.4. There's no reason for me to be moving the brightness any more lower because that way, if I do that, I'm going to uh, crush my deep dark levels. Contrast, I keep it at 65 because this is not a HDR TV, so there's no reason for me to have the backlit or contrast. Okay, it's a non HDR TV, so I keep the contrast at 65 because it's just much better for my eyes because the, the viewing distance that I'm sitting right now it's like I don't know, like a three and a half feet all right I'm not that far from the TV uh, the color honestly for this TV I always felt the color 55 was perfect if you guys watch my early videos that I did in 2016 on this TV uh, color has always been at the, the 55 and of course the sharpness I keep it at 24 uh, color temperature I, I choose normal because normal gives me that excellent balance between yellow and blue temperature tone and I like to keep it on low active LED zones I always keep them on because that's where the uh, the ratio of the picture quality gets adjusted by these backlit zones so I keep them on on okay because that's what you want you want the uh, full array of local dimming and you want the full array of local I mean, full array of LEDs to be present as well. Clear action, I keep it on. Uh, you don't have to, but I like to keep it on. It, the clear action on this TV, it's super smooth. Forget about the LG, forget about the Samsung, and yes, forget about the Sony as well. This, the Vizios has one of the best clear motion that I have seen. And I had this TV for three years. I, I can confirm on that. I don't care what anybody else says. I had the freaking TV. I have it. And you guys know I had this TV for three years. And I'm telling you, this thing, watching sports on it, it's top notch. Uh, I'm not sure what type, of, what type of a chip are they using, that V chip that's in there. But definitely it gets the job done. Reduce noise. Uh, I keep it on low. Honestly, I don't want to keep it in medium. If I keep it in medium, I mean, you can keep it in medium if you want. You know, if you want to, you can keep it a medium to, to keep the picture a little bit more uh, smooth. Game low latency, of course, you want to turn that on. And uh, color space, I keep it on automatic. And gamma, obviously, 2.4. That was weird, man. Something just moved uh, next to my uh, lamp by itself. I guess I have ghosts. All right, so now let me show you a little bit of uh, gameplay. All right, let me adjust my low light. There we go. I'm going to try to do this like this so you guys can see me move a controller and then... It, it's, it's buttery smooth. Uh, but look, I always knew that this TV has an excellent uh, picture quality. Now, here's the thing. You guys are going to ask me this question, and I know this question is going to pop. Well, Mr. 4K, since you already have the uh, 4K monitor, LG 4K IPS monitor, uh, now you're saying that the, the television Vizios can do a great gaming uh, experience. Yes, there are televisions out there that can give a good gaming experience for a television. But you're never going to achieve that super performance on Call of Duty or Battlefield 1, on like on this TV. All right, If you want that super 1 millisecond response time, or if you want that 144 hertz refresh rate, you're going to have to go with the uh, monitor. If you want that G-Sync, if you want that free sync, you're going to have to go with the monitor. As I said in my previous statements, for the monitors I said monitors are my perfect choice for gaming okay 
Can I? Of course I can game on a TV. I never said you can't game on a TV. But there's something else when it comes to the, a good 4K, a good monitor. A good monitor. If you have a good monitor, it just uh, the experience is better. And you can play longer hours when you're playing on a monitor. Okay, you have much better l longevity when you play on a monitor. On the TV, depends how big the TV is. It's going to hurt your eyes, and you're going to go to sleep because that UV light will definitely is going to screw you up, man. This thing here, the, the monitors, they don't have that UV light. It's not going to hurt you. They're they're specifically designed for you to play long hours. Okay, so if you're looking for performance and longer hours on, on, on your you know live streams or, or playing some you know uh, matches out there online uh, championship whatever tournaments then you definitely want to go with a monitor I just said monitor is better for for gaming that's all I said but of course you can you know play games on the TV as you can see right here now, is the picture quality going to be better, be better on the TV? If you have a really good TV, then of course, picture quality is going to look bananas. You know, on the C7 OLED, this would look bananas on the HDR. And I showed you guys, there's a video. I've seen how this looks on the uh, LG C7. It looks fantastic, man. Hold on a second. Let me. Uh, I want to check something else too as well. I want to check the angle. I want to check different angle uh, on this TV. So we're gonna do a different angles on this TV just to see how well it looks. If there's any bending light, and there shouldn't be any bending light, so we're gonna do that right now. Here we go from this angle. No bending light. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to move it even further more. It looks perfect, man. No bending light. Looks excellent. Uniformity. It's buttery smooth. You know. Now, on a Samsung KS8000, because it's the edge lit, obviously, you would see some bending light up and down, up and down, from top to bottom. You will see a little bit here, you would see a little bit there, and you would see it here and here. This is why I always urge, and, and this is why, honestly, my next uh, TV, it's always going to be full array local dimming and full array of LED backlit. Obviously, Z90, it's that perfect TV, but it's just so damn expensive. But it's very tempting, you know. And Z90 is the perfect example. Now, you don't have to go with a Z90. There's a X900. There's a other Sony TVs that you can choose from. There's a X930, I think. But X900, it's definitely a great full array local dimming. TV out there. Uh, it's also a full array of uh, LEDs as well. All right, well, here we are. Surprise. We're going to test The Last of Us. By the way, it is very important that I point out that this is my first time testing The Last of Us, or actually a first time for me testing PlayStation 4 Pro on a Vizio M55 C2. Okay, I never tested a PlayStation 4 Pro on this Vizio uh, TV. I did test the Xbox One S, and uh, but I never tested the PlayStation 4 Pro games. And now, I'm going to use that opportunity to test it. I mean, I can tell you right off the bat that the uh, this television gives... 
it's perfect for gaming. I would say that this television from Vizio, it's really made for gaming. It has a really awesome response time. Barely any blurriness. Uh, there's no input lag. If you look at my controller, barely any input lag. And, and uh, there's no blurriness. You can't see any blurriness. The response time is really good. I think the response time on this TV, it's like 19 milliseconds. 19 milliseconds, which is pretty darn good for a... Uh, 4K 55 inch TV. It might be less, it might be 18, but I, from what I understand, it's 19. And it looks pretty good, man. It really does. You know, sometimes, look, the reason I do these videos, guys, and I, as I said this uh, many, many, many times before, the reason I do these videos, it's not to convince you through this camera, because there's no way that you guys will be able to see what I'm seeing through this camera. The reason I do these videos is for you to understand and trust what I tell you here. I know that's asking a lot, but you'll just have to trust me. It looks fantastic. I have no... I'm not getting paid to lie to you. I'm not getting paid by any uh, third-party affiliates, Vizio, LG, Sony, Samsung. I'm just here to tell you exactly what I'm seeing. And you can either believe me or you don't. But it definitely looks great. Just look at the uh, the detail on the uh, the wall and the reflection of the light on the building. Now, granted, you know. If this TV had HDR, it would be great too. But you have to remember something. When you here's the something people need to understand. When you add HDR, when you turn on the HDR, it's going to be impossible for a TV to have 19 milliseconds. You'll be looking at like at best 24 milliseconds with HDR. And that's not just me saying. That's ask anybody out there. They'll tell you at best. With the HDR, you're going to get 24 milliseconds response time. You know, man, I'm so glad I never sold this TV. This is a really good TV, man. I just realized, like, this Vizio, man, it, you know, it's probably the best money I ever spent on, on, on a goddamn TV. It's really good TV man I know it doesn't have HDR but you know what sometimes HDR can be blown out of the proportion okay and I don't I don't mean to like shit on HDR because I tried all different HDR formats I know how HDR looks I've seen it I have it but sometimes it can be blown out of proportion all right and when I look at this TV and, and just it reminds me it reminds me in the future, I swear to you, I swear to God, in the future, when I buy an LED TV, two things got to have. Full array local dimming and full array of LED backlits. No exception. Hopefully I'm not spoiling anything here. Uh, I think everybody has played this game. <clears throat> By the way, I was going to do Alien Covenant and Prometheus uh, 4K Blu-ray video calibration on both of these TVs. But the problem is... Uh, UPS and Amazon, it's it's like they they're having some problem with the shipment, so 
I wasn't able to get it yet. I should be getting it pretty soon. I mean, just I'm 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 glad I I tell you right now I'm glad I I'm glad that I didn't sell this TV. You know, uh, it's a great 4K TV. I started with this 4K TV Vizio. I highly recommend go with the Vizio guys. You're not gonna be disappointed. Uh, Samsung KS8000 has a, has a title on its own, just like this TV has the title on its own. This is what I want to say. Something that needs to be said. A lot of these TVs are good TVs. Okay, this is a good TV. Samsung KS8000 is a good TV. Every TV has its good and its bad. Okay. So they all have something to offer. It just it just depends on you, on your personal preference. Really, it comes down to a personal preference at the end of the day. Everybody's looking for this perfect TV, you know, this perfect this, perfect that. I guess Z90, it's something like 75% close to that. But even Z90, there's some some cons, there's some negativity that I can point out about Z90 as well. It's not much, but it's there. So the bottom line is there's, there's always going to be... Uh, you're never going to find a perfect TV, okay? Just go with what you think is the best for you, like your own personal preference, all right? Now, I like both of these TVs. I have two 4K TVs, and I have that 4K monitor, so I have like three 4K panels. Um, now, this, hold on. All right, guys, I have to end this video because I only have short seconds left here. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I appreciate it.